All right, you guys, so this is my delicious looking breakfast. I have a serving of hash browns, two ounces of chicken, and one egg, and one egg white. And I may or may not have already tracked a serving of the enlightened, or not a serving, the whole pint um, of the enlightened chocolate peanut butter one and dug into it a little bit. But I have the whole pint already tracked, so if I nibble on it throughout the day, it's not the end of the world. Although I prefer to save it for myself for tonight, but. I did nibble on that a little bit because I was starving. I'm actually really proud of myself for not having cried like this whole entire prep. Like I've cried for, actually I don't think I've cried to be honest since I started prep. Like that's kind of weird to think about. Uh, that's not true because I was going through a lot of stuff like back in January when I first started. But like a lot of people break down and cry and like you just can't like for example a lot of people get worked up over like not feeling ready or they're hungry or like my first show it's like everything went wrong like my extension started well i cried a little bit when my extension started falling out i won't lie because extensions are expensive they're like four hundred dollars and i had just spent four hundred dollars on hair extensions that were falling out of my head um that were supposed to be permanent that i'm getting put back in anyway i digress um but even as I started to get upset about it, I was like, okay, what is crying going to do? Like, what is getting upset and worked up going to do? Literally nothing. Like, but at the point when something has gone wrong, there is officially nothing you can do to change the fact that something has already gone wrong. All you can control is your response and what you do. Can you fix it? Is there something you can do? If not, then you just have to be calm and figure out what else you're gonna do. Um, what I can't stand to see is people get like worked up and complain and complain and complain and there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do at that point to fix something sometimes. So like, why bother getting worked up about it? And I did not used to be that way, trust me. I used to be like the kid that cried over spilled milk, but I just, life is just so, so short to get worked up over stuff um i think prep has made me had that outlook has made me have has made me have that outlook words are hard i don't know um but just being like more positive about things that like go wrong um it's just made me realize that like i can handle anything like i'm not afraid of i'm not afraid of anything happening to me because i know that i know that i can handle like anything that's come my way um here I am talking about not getting teared up and I'm about to get teared up like if you guys have been following me back since like since the beginning or like since January you've seen me go through um you've seen me go through a lot I don't I don't really want to talk about specifics because there's no one I want to throw under the bus or anything like that but you know if you've followed me since then you know that um when you're going through something personally it can be really super difficult to not let it affect the rest of your life and I feel like I did a really good job at like being strong and following my heart and um just doing what I wanted doing what I want to do because I wanted to do it um and I'm rambling so hard right now and I said I wasn't gonna like get teared up and everything but anyway I don't know if any of this makes sense or if I'm just like rambling at this point but I'm really um, happy to have shared all of this with you guys and just I just wanted to prove that not wanted to prove anything I wanted to prove it to myself that um, like you don't have to be like I said before you don't have to be going through a hard time and just like let it let it ripple and affect the rest of your life like you can be strong you can um, you know get through stuff and push through and you don't have to let it you don't have to let it ruin everything that you've worked for but i'm gonna go so i can eat my next meal and then probably head to the gym here soon i do need to go pick up my bridesmaids dress for my best friend's wedding i think it's being delivered today at the post office um it needs to be signed for so that's why i had it delivered there um so yeah that's what i'm doing and i will catch you guys in the next clip all right, you guys, my next meal is two ounces of deli turkey, and then I don't have a white cheddar rice cake, so I'm eating one of the caramel rice cakes, and then I'm going to do eight grams of the Lucky 
This is from Lucky's and it's just like honey roasted peanut butter. It comes out of the machine. So that's what I'm gonna do. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next clip. All right, y'all, do not judge me. I feel like every time I do a full day of eating video, people are like, oh my God, you eat such crap. But this is gonna be my pre-workout um, little like energy source. It's got a good amount of carbs. That department, but um, could be a little better, obviously. But um, this is what I'm having before my workout. There is two. There are two servings left in here, which is going to be 14 grams of protein, uh, 16 carbs, and nine fat. So this is what I'm having before my workout. Sue me. That's what I want. That's what I want. I also have coffee with. A splash of almond milk. It is a third of a serving of almond milk. One pump of sugar-free mocha, which is a carb. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And after my workout, I'm probably gonna have eggs, hash browns, chicken, and then I have a power crunch bar before bed. So, yep, that's my plan. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip. All right, you guys. So this is my post-workout meal. I've got. Um, this is six ounces of uncooked chicken, which ends up being like four and a half ounces of cooked chicken and um, 69 grams of 68 grams of potatoes of hash browns to be specific, which is like three-fourths of a serving. So I started eating this, but I stopped myself to show you that I'm having this and then I'm having jello with Greek yogurt on top and that's all you eat. All right, you guys, so my last meal is four servings of Jello, which is literally four protein. This is a third of a serving of PB2 and also a third of a serving of yogurt. And so it kind of tastes like peanut butter, and I'm not just going to spread it on top. It's like a nice little PB&J dessert. Macros are really good. And, yeah, so there's no fat, like one carb, and then like seven-ish protein. I honestly feel like it sounds weird and it even looks weird, but I swear... It's delicious and it is like the lowest calorie PB&J you ever did see.